Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my 200k solo run on a warden or nothing. I'm doing it on Voidwalker, top tree of the subclass. I'm using Bygones, Borealis and Hammerhead. I've got Lunas on for the reload in the rift. <clears throat> my bond actually has, I think it's Innovation, which gives you health back when you run over an orb. Hence why I've went with the, the Bygones, because I don't have many fully masterworked primaries actually. Not that are good enough to do the job that I want it to do in this strike. So we've got a 3, 5.35 uh, score mod multi multiplier because of that. We had to put blackout on to reach the score. Now the reason why we needed to put that on to reach the score is because we're not running through this break, you know, we're not speed running it. The ideal loadout for this is Devour. The ideal loadout is Devour with something like the Recluse that just is crazy for damage. This is brilliant for it. And if you have it, I would suggest that be the loadout you go with. But if you don't, and I, I actually think a lot of people don't have it, this this is the next best thing. So when we get to this first section, we'll just clear these ads out, pick up some... As you can see, I never come in here with full full uh, ammunition. So rally a flag before you come in. We'll put a grenade in the centre because there's a load of ads in the centre. And if they focus fire you, it's a dangerous place to be. You can't kill them fast enough, and you don't want to, I mean, you could put a rift down, but remember, it's 200k, you lose points after 15 minutes. It's a, it's not a difficult nightfall, but it's long, so we don't want to waste time standing in gun, gun fights where we don't have to. So, once, once you've tipped that Minotaur, which is one of the things the Borealis is really good for, uh, anything with a shield, now, obviously that didn't have a shield, but anything with a shield you get something called Ionic Return, which if you match the element of the shield and you break the shield, the rest of the ammunition in the magazine does more damage. So perfect for this strike because it's 99.9% .9 void with one arc shielded uh, enemy, which we're not bothered about. Put as many shots on the ads on the train lines as possible because when the train hits them, you get the credit. It's the same in every strike. If you get damage, if you do damage to an ad and it gets killed by the game or by mechanics, not by your weapon, you'll still get credited with the, the points. So we're going to drop down, go and pick that special up, and then we're going to drop down, kill this little goblin, and then we're going to spiral to the next section. Now, make sure you... Make sure you're careful on these train lines. When we speak, when we get to the next spiral section, I'll speak about the best way to do it. So, what you're going to see now is one of the worst Nova bombs of all time, and the reason why is because I thought I killed the Vex. I was trying to multitask, didn't happen. That Vex just didn't go down, but it it, it doesn't really matter. See where I broke the shield? Left, top, in, in the screen on the left, you see an ionic return. That that empowered the rest of the, the rounds in the magazine because I matched the void shield. So we're just going to take these ads out. We're going to try and see if we can we can get a couple of orbs. We're not trying to waste too much of our special. We've got t places to use special. And then we'll just melt this guy because we've got more heavy than we've got special. Pick up the orb, and then you want to go onto these train lines when the far right train passes. Best way to do this is just keep an eye out front. If you're on the right-hand side, as you can see here, you'll see if there's a train coming, you know, if it's going left, right, left, right. If when you're on the right-hand side, and you, if you don't see another set of lights behind, you know, when you come out, you know when the left-hand train pass if you don't see another set of lights in front of you on the right you know you're going to get a double set of trains on the left so just look in front of you for the next set of lights come towards you now this section there's a, a few ads there's a little bit of score to be had what i'm doing now is i'm managing i'm managing my my ammunition because the borealis is very important to us so you don't want to leave yourself in a situation where you've no special even where it seems like I'm not using that much special, it's basically what we're going to be doing our DPS with. So make sure, in between sections, always make sure you reload. Make sure all your weapons are good to go. And what we're going to do here is take these take these couple ads out here. Now, the, the main ads in this section are going to be, when you first get in, there's going to be a Hydra. And then you're going to get waves of just 
red bars coming towards you, elites behind them, and you've got to be careful for the two snipers. And, and you'll see I take them out pretty quickly. Now, I'm keeping my Nova. Normally, I would Nova this Hydra, but I'm keeping my Nova. So we'll just put four snipes. There we go. And then we're going to push up. And once you push up just just behind where, where we were to this point, you, act, you get the next wave of ads. So you get ads coming through the center there. As you can see, I charged a grenade and suppressed. And then you'll get a couple of ads coming from the left. Now, we took out one of the elite snipers. The, there's still an elite sniper up there. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to manage these waves of ads from here. So I'll put down the rift and manage these waves of ads. You see, we've got heavy there, so we're not, you know, we're not in trouble for using this. And because we've got Lunas on, we're getting the constant reload. And because we've got Rampage on, you know, once you proc Rampage 3, you're, you're just going through them like a hot knife through butter. So run up here, get your heavy. We, we haven't quite got our Rift back. The way I like to do this section, again... Exactly the same. This is where all your elites. This is where all your your elites are. Put down the rift. Take out the two minotaurs, and then wipe up the rest of the ads. Mop them up. Now you'll always have an elite below where we are now, right there. You'll always have one or two there. So what I'm doing is, as you can see, I've just seen I've missed a wave of ads because the when he comes out, this is your boss. When he comes out. You get a wave of ads. Now we're going to get a second wave of ads. So I'm going to pre-throw my, my Nova at the big set of ads that coming down the ramp. And as you can see, it's worth 8,000 points per wave. So I come down here looking for ammo. There's nothing there because I've only got four shots. I know I've got special. So he's pushed towards us, which is good. Use these stairs as your cover. And what we're going to do is just manage his health. Now we know we've got another wave, so I'm just going to basketball dunk, a, dunk a, a charge grenade over the train lines, right to the bottom of the, the ramp, which took hit all the ads. And now there's a few more. Just put some damage on them, and we get the points for them. So we're at 7 minutes, just gone 7 minutes, um, hundred just, just short of 120,000. There's still quite a lot of points to play for. We've picked up all we're, we're special. We're good for special. We're actually not too bad for heavy either. So, this next section, you do all this from range. So, uh, you've got a couple of red bars. Then you've got some elites. And then some shielded guys. Then some snipers. That's basically what you've got in here. Forget about the wanted enemy. We're not interested in him. He takes too much time and ammunition to bother with. So, we're going to take the two snipers out that have got their backs towards us. And then we're going to try and take out the le legionaries as soon as we can. These three guys coming out the pods. They're down. So, that's all the, um, that's the immediate threat down. So, just take, make sure you're not missing your shots and take the three elite legionaries out. And then what we're doing now is we're waiting for the shielded incendiator to, to show himself. So, he's kind of playing, playing around with the, the wanted enemy. He wanted to get in front of him, so he went all the way behind him and then come back up in front of him. Once they've gone, as you can see, I put damage on those legionaries and then I exploded the barrel, which means I will get the, the points for them because I've already dealt damage. Come right out to the right and there's the second of our three incendiaries in this area. There's one at the, right at the back on the ramp. So we're not bothered about him. We know we've got three, three incendiaries, two here and one right at the back. Then you've got three of these elite legionaries. That they, they're in, they're in kind of groups. So we took the first group out, which basically were where we're standing now. Take this next group out. There's the third one. Then you've got two little snipers. They're on the bridges. We've took one out already. There's the second one. And then you've got these groups, groups of two, groups of two or three legionaries. They're no bother at all. So you just mess them up at your, at your will. So if you follow the route that I took, I kind of I stay to the left till we get up top here. I just grab this special and then go back and go up here. 
if you were just doing this as as kind of a speed run in nightfall not for the score you could basically if you had momentum on you could run past all these ads and just run straight up to this side and right out here without shooting an ad but uh we're going for the points so that's that's this area clear so just manage your ads take out the heavier ads from range and you can not so much push but you can you can be a little bit more aggressive with the red balls so the whole time what we've been doing is not using grenade not using super when we get up here we pop a super right right in the center the reason why you don't hit these shielded guys with a super is i've noticed that quite a lot with top tree of nova because it explodes and then th tracking things come out the explosion of the shield nullifies those tracking those uh, secondary tracking or you know little novas that come off it so anything with a shield that you explode with your nova will nullify the tracking nova it happens quite a lot to me so i'm just going to pick up some orbs we've got a grenade there you can see we've got tons of ammo so we're going to run to this door pick up that orb and we're going to charge a grenade and as soon as we get two then we, we're going to throw one over at the door the charge grenade at the door now we come back to the center we take out the rest of the ads make sure nothing's encroaching us from behind now i want to see if i can get a pick on this minotaur to the right because that's where i go now the incendiator he keeps he keeps the the minotaur there so if you take the incendiator out the minotaur will will stay on you know in relative cover but if he's got an enemy to attack he'll come out and show himself so this is the way i go i go to see next i take all those ads out and then i go after the minotaur because i've got rampage on my my uh heavy it's good for increasing the damage and then we just put our rift down and we wait for this guy to come out you don't always get a second minotaur but if you do it the way i've just done it you nearly always will so we'll take out this minotaur probably the most dangerous enemy on this side is that minotaur because when you're attacking other things he's like he's like sneaky and comes up behind you and starts firing at you from sometimes what seems like the other side of the map nova this bunch of ads here go up this ramp because we're going to attack this incendiator now as you can see you've got still got tons of time to get on the plate get on the plate you'll get these these couple of uh elite elite legionaries now we'll put down a rift and just clear up any red bars pretty simple so if you do it the way i've done it you'll have your and you've got your paragon mods you'll have your rift back at the same time i have my rift back and you'll be fine so we're going to push up this right hand side now the reason why i was going to go over and get the scorch cannon but i didn't bother uh we just put a couple a couple of shots on the ads we've pushed those ads because they you know there's three elite legionaries we want them we don't want them wandering so no no basically for the next minute or two we're just going to try and put damage on on the boss and get as many shots on the ads as possible now pot shots that's you know you're not going to be killing everything so we're going to pick up the scorch cannon put a couple of shots on him now you can charge them just by holding the trigger in it's time consuming so i i do it a couple of times but then i'll just pop off a couple of shots now as you can see i'm using the scorch to get put damage on 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 the ads we've got three more shots and then the the phalanxes decide to mess everything up so now head glitching them we're just gonna put a couple of shots on i'm not i'm not too bothered about killing them there now you have to be careful because you can get another wave of ads come up if you get that other wave i like to go this side because it, there's a fair amount of cover but as you can see i'm hesitant to go in there because if you get that other wave of ads they'll come out from the same doorway we, that we attacked the first time so it can be a bad place to be in so we'll just charge a grenade and throw over those ads, ads over the other side because i know we never put anything on them so we're doing okay for score we're, you know we know we're going to go over the 15 minutes i knew that anyway we were never going to go down and melt the boss and 
never going to happen because we don't have heavyweight on. Just a little thing that I that I find is very interesting. If you get lost in combat and you're in any kind of any uh, encounter with the Borealis, anytime you go down the scope, it will tell you what element you're in. Just in case you know, just in case you were wondering. And I'm only saying that because I just noticed it does it right at the top of the screen. You'll see it. It, it tells you that you've got void on. So. We've put enough shots on things. We're run, you know. I don't want to spend too much time. We want to take the boss down underneath the fifteen minutes because if you don't, you're only getting four and a half thousand, which isn't a big deal. But the more points you go into this end bit with, the better for you, because you're going to lose points now. You know, and any points you get, your your modifier is no longer a five point three five. It's a, what, 2.77, 2.76 or something? Because you get 50% modifier now. So, this is the plan for the boss. I'm going to drop down here. You'll have some ads. We're going to clear out the two or three ads that are there or thereabouts from the back. And then as soon as, as, soon as you hear the audio cue, from the, the, the fake fake Varix cue telling you that the warden's coming, basically. As soon as you hear that audio cue, throw your Nova where the server is going to appear. From this left-hand pillar, this big, massive left-hand strut, this is going to be our point base of operations, right? So all the ads are down. As soon as you get the audio cue, throw it into the center. Now get your Borealis out, put your Rift up, and now we're going to start DPS. So just start critting him with the Borealis until he moves. So just keep critting, critting, critting. And then when he moves, get into cover. As you can see, I'm going to charge a grenade, throw the grenade on him, get get a crit, get crouched, get your heavy out, and just wait. We're not going to do anything until we see our rift back. Now... From the position we're at, where we threw the grenade at him, that is where we want him, right? You have to be careful. That's why I'm saying get crouched down and get your, your machine gun out because that's going to be, as I said at the start, that's going to be kind of your primary. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to clear up any sections around us. We don't want any ads floating about to the left or right of us. We're not going to attack anything too far away, just the immediate threats. So... Anything, you know, we're just having a little look around. But he's down the back. We can't attack there, right? Because that could happen. So, he's still there. We'll just stay here. Now, because we made our presence known, the ads might start encroaching on us. That's why you want to wait until you've got your rift. So, we've got our rift now. We've got ads to the, the other side. So, we'll pop our rift. And just use what heavy to just take out any immediate threats. And there he is. That's where we want him. So what we're going to do is we've got our grenade. So we're going to charge our grenade. We're going to switch to Borealis. Charge the grenade for the grid right on him. And just as soon as he stops firing, crit, crit, and he's done. And that's the run, guys. Just be careful when you're here because you don't have, obviously, the melee, melee attacks are pretty severe and we don't have a radar. But to be fair, you can see anything coming at you because nothing's coming behind you. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the run. Thanks a lot for watching. Your viewership is always appreciated. It's the reason why I do it. Uh, I'll be back with another, another video soon. Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.